Today we honor the soldiers who led us to victory on this day 75 years ago. VJ Day marks the end of the Second World War. Well into their 90s, these veterans still take the time every year to remember their fellow men in arms who didn't get to see that victory. Kristen Goodwillie heard what they remember most about that time. They're known as the greatest generation for a reason. John Mooney, 94. Pedro Carrillo, 94. Vincent Gramarosa, 93. Herb Rader, 95. September 2nd, 1945. It's an important day in our history, life-changing for these four men. I went in when I was 16. I thought I was a tough guy, but after a while, I wasn't. World War II had formally ended, but with the celebration comes the acknowledgement of what so many young men endured. And the sergeant said, shoot them, kill them all. And that's when I, I knew I was in a war. All of a sudden, the ship's horn started blowing and just, just kept blowing and blowing and blowing. And then we got the word that everything was over and we were headed for home. Remembering those that didn't come back. They were the guys that really paid the price. It took every single one of them, along with the hundreds of thousands of Americans who put their lives on the line. It dawned on me. I'm on my own. There's nobody to take care of me anymore. I'm on my own. I better grow up and grow up real fast. It's been 75 years since the war ended. The memories still crisp as their boots made contact with familiar ground, if only for a while. This is right there on those steps is where I met my family for the first time when I got home. I had a seven-year-old brother, and they were parked out here, and he ran up and hit me and almost knocked me down. <laughs> what did I eat when I got home? A big pasta, a big plate of pasta and meatballs. I was so glad to get home. This anniversary bringing brothers together, riding in a Jeep they hadn't been in since the war. If the same situation ever came up again, just do your duty and do it to the best of your ability. As the American flag flies high, bending in the wind, a symbol of the freedom we continue to have in this country. A thank you to those who made our lives possible. Being in the service, I knew what I had to do. I knew I was fighting for America. I know this is the best country in the world. Kristen Goodwillie, WHIS 11 News.